Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new to my channel, my name is Baby Scorpio or you guys can call me Leah. And in today's pick a card reading, this is going to be what makes you guys the best pumpkin in the pumpkin patch or because this reading is timeless, this is going to be why you guys are so rare from others. So I have three piles for you guys. The first pile is going to be hematite and it looks like this. The second pile is going to be howlite and it looks like this. And the last pile is going to be smoky quartz and it looks like this. So I will have the timestamps down below in the comment section so you guys can check them out from there. Or you guys can choose your pile slash piles in the next clip. So let's get it, let's go y'all. So again, pile number one is going to be hematite. Pile number two is going to be howlite. And pile number three is going to be smoky quartz. So I'm going to give you guys time to meditate. And we're going to get into pile number one. Hey pile number one, welcome to your reading. So before I get into your cards or anything, I'm going to tell you why you chose this hematite crystal. With this crystal, I'm getting that you guys could be a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo or have those placements in your chart. I'm getting that you guys are very rare from others because you guys ground your energy before you guys start talking to other people, especially when it comes to your dating life or your romantic partners or even your friendships. You guys come to the scene whole so you guys are very whole within yourself and you guys also know how to handle your emotions you guys are very emotionally balanced i'm also getting that you guys know how to communicate with other people especially when it comes to disagreements or arguments you guys are that type of person who has really good comebacks i'm also getting that you guys have this energy of where you're very balanced within yourself like it's something about you guys doing the inner work and it's showing on the outside. So you guys are not only beautiful on the outside, you guys are beautiful on the inside as well. And you guys are very grounded within who you guys are authentically, okay? So you guys are out here being your authentic self and you guys are not allowing anybody to break you or tell you that you guys are not being your authentic self or you're not allowing your ego to control your emotions or control how you guys move forward in your present moment so i'm getting that you guys are guided by the soul and that's what makes you guys very rare and i'm also getting that you guys have this energy of where you're very pure like you guys have like a pure heart or you guys wear your heart on your sleeve and a lot of people find that very rare because a lot of people try to mask how they're feeling but you guys are able to communicate how you guys feel on a physical level and tell people when they hurt your feelings or express that you guys are hurt so i'm getting that you guys are able to heal because you guys are able to pinpoint how you guys are feeling as well so with that being said let's get into your overall energy and i use the power of love oracle deck and i have the card trust so with this card i'm getting that you guys have a lot of faith in your intuition or your spiritual beliefs and you guys have this energy of where you're very confident in how you guys move forward in your life so you guys know that your ancestors angels spirit guides and deities from the highest good or whoever you guys believe in has your back and because you guys know that you guys walk in that energy you guys embrace that energy you guys embody that energy and it's very rare to have somebody very grounded within their spirituality that's what it is okay you guys have this grounded energy of where you guys believe in certain things and you guys stand up for what you guys believe in it's like you guys trust yourself you guys trust your intuition and you guys know that you guys are being guided towards the highest things in your life and you guys continue to walk in that energy i'm also getting that you guys spread that energy around even if you guys are not trying to get other people to go and to your religion or get other people to believe in what you guys believe in you guys have this energy like this aura of where you're very confident within yourself because of your spiritual beliefs or because of what you guys believe in okay you guys have this energy of where you're walking in faith you guys are a walking testimony of what your spirit guides or whoever you guys believe in 
is doing in your life right now and that's what makes you guys very rare from others so with your tarot cards i have the card the ten of wands you guys put in that work i'm getting like you guys put in like the healing work the shadow work like you guys do your shadow work and you guys go into some deep things in order to heal these generational curses i'm also getting that you guys are a very diligent person in the physical realms as well so you guys are very financially well off or you guys are getting to that place or you guys are working to get to that place in your life i'm also getting that you guys have this energy of where you guys are taking care of everything around you and you're doing it in a way of where it just seems effortless like it seems like you guys are not even doing as much to others sometimes but in reality it's like if you guys stepped away or if other people didn't have you in their lives their lives would fall apart that's what i'm getting so i'm getting kind of like a cancer energy or a water sign energy as well so you guys could have um pisces or cancer or scorpio in your chart but i'm getting that you guys are a very diligent person you guys carry a lot of weight in your life and i'm getting that other people may tell you a lot of their personal issues or you guys could be a therapist a counselor somebody who knows a lot of people's secrets that's what i'm getting and you guys are able to hold that or you guys are able to carry that weight without being weighted down that's what i'm getting so even though it looks like she's being weighted down it's like no i got it i can handle this and i'm gonna keep moving forward so even when certain foundations in your life are breaking down you guys are able to learn from those situations and build a stable foundation in your life and that's why you guys are always in this grounded energy you guys are able to learn from things very quickly and that's what makes you guys very rare from others okay and with the next card, I have the card, the lover's card. You guys could be a Gemini or have Gemini in your chart, but I'm getting that you guys are very aligned with who you guys are authentically. You guys are moving forward in a very healed and growth mindset way. You guys also have this energy of where you're very strong-minded, okay? You move forward in very great communication, especially in your relationships, and you guys know how to talk to people. And because you guys know how to talk to people, you guys are very emotionally intelligent. And with your emotional intelligence, you guys are able to handle a lot of deep and dark things. That's what I'm getting. It's more so like, you guys are able to turn your pain into power and use it for good and that's what makes you guys very rare from others because when other people get hurt it's more so like they want to inflict that pain onto other people because they got hurt they want other people to feel that pain but you guys are the type of people where if you guys get hurt you guys are going to do the inner healing work in order to uplift you or level up in your life okay so a lot of these things happen to you in your life mostly because you guys can handle it or mostly because you guys know how to be in this alchemist energy you guys know how to turn your pain into power so i'm getting that you guys are very powerful people and that's what makes you guys very rare from others it's like you guys use your power in the most unique and wholesome way okay you guys are very wholesome people and with the next card i have the card the seven of cups so you guys are able to choose options that are for your highest good and use this energy of discernment to move forward and allow certain people into your life. So you guys are the type of people of where you guys sense when people don't have the best intentions towards you or towards others and you're like, Ugh, I don't really know if you should go towards that person. Like, I don't know what it is, but there's something off about that person or there's something off about this opportunity so you guys are able to trust your intuition and trust that you guys are being guided towards the right people places and environments i'm getting that you guys are the type of people where you guys might get dreams about certain situations that may happen in your life or that are happening in your current situation or dreams about certain people and what they're going through and you're like, 
oh like i had a dream about this i have a bad feeling about this like or i have a good feeling about this i'm gonna go towards it or i have a bad feeling about this so let me not go towards this today maybe i need to do something first in order to align myself with this action or align myself with asking you know spirit for so i'm getting that you guys use the strategy of manifestation in your life and that's what makes you guys rare from others because not many people use manifestation like even though it's something popular now even to this day people still don't know how to fully use it and you guys have fully tapped in to using your manifestation praying a lot more and trusting that your prayers are gonna come true okay and with the next card i have the card the princess of cups you guys are trusting the messages from the divine and you guys are also putting in the work so i'm getting that again you guys could have a lot of dreams that other people may not get or other people may be like oh this person like like why why don't they do this like why don't why don't they go out to certain places or why don't they feel good around certain people so you guys might have these people in your life or people that you guys have cut off in your life because you guys don't feel good about them it's something about them that spirit has revealed to you or you guys pay attention to the details that's what i'm getting i'm getting that you guys are a very detail oriented person you guys could be very organized i'm also getting that you guys have this energy of where you guys have your life together and you're very self-aware and because you guys are in that energy of self-awareness it's like you guys see every little detail you guys see everything especially when people are trying to do you wrong you guys see the passive aggressiveness you guys are able to see these people that actually have good intentions towards you as well so i'm getting that you guys see the good and the bad and I'm also getting that you guys know how to move forward after seeing the good and the bad. I'm getting that you guys do not allow you guys seeing the bad to keep you in that state of mind, okay? And with the next card, I have the Five of Cups in reverse. You guys are very emotionally mature and your emotional maturity has kept you in alignment so many times in your life. And that's what makes you guys very rare from others is because you guys know how to move forward in a way of where you're not crashing out or you're not in this energy of where you're trying to prove your point all the time you're able to move forward and be like okay this person has their own opinion and i still believe in what i believe in so i'm not going to allow that person to disturb me being in alignment so i'm getting that you guys are protecting your peace and that's what makes you guys rare is because a lot of people know that they're getting triggered by somebody and when you guys get triggered by somebody you're like okay i know i'm getting triggered but let me handle this with grace let me handle the situation in a logical way to move forward so you guys do not allow your emotions to control you and you guys do not allow other people to control your emotions as well so i'm getting that you guys know how to handle certain relationships because you guys know how to handle your emotions and you guys also have a lot of opportunities in your life because of your emotional maturity and with the next card i have the six of wands so i'm getting that you guys have been through a lot in your life and now you guys are in this energy of success and victory i'm getting that you guys are really crushing your enemies and that's what like your spirit guides are saying by you guys just standing in your power like you guys are fully in your power and it's in a way of where you just trust your intuition so much and you use your discernment and you guys also are very balanced within your light and dark self. In this lifetime, you guys know that you guys were not meant to be nice to everybody, okay? So I'm getting that you guys are very genuine people, but I'm getting that you guys are not in this people-pleasing energy of where you're trying to be nice to everybody to get up on certain opportunities i'm getting that you're very emotionally intelligent and you guys know when to handle your emotions and you guys do not allow anybody to control your emotions but you guys say things to people in a very logical way of where you guys tell them off in a very professional way okay that's what i'm getting it's not in a way of where you're crashing out and you're calling other people all types of names and stuff like that 
it's more so like you're calling out certain behaviors of other people in order to let them know why you do not mess with them anymore that's what i'm getting like you guys are able to pinpoint certain people's behavior and be like hey i didn't really like when you did this and this is why and this is why i'm not going to continue our relationship so you guys are very emotionally healed that's what i'm getting like you guys are able to communicate how you guys feel emotionally and it's really helped you be in this energy of alignment and also bypass a lot of karmic situations in your life okay and with the moonology cards i have the card conclusions are reached within so like i said before you guys are doing a lot of inner healing work in order to become this new version of yourself or you guys are already this new version of yourself and there are certain people that are like oh this person is being fake oh this person is being this but it's really in this energy of where you guys accepted certain parts of yourself and you're like okay i know that i'm in control of my life and i'm going to be in that control by changing the things that i know that are not for my highest good and like certain things that you guys have done in the past you guys no longer do now because it no longer serves you so i'm getting that it makes you guys rare from others because you guys are able to break a lot of generational curses, a lot of cycles in your life. You guys are able to let go of what is not serving you in order to move forward in the most healed way as possible, okay? You guys are really doing a lot of shadow work, a lot of inner work, like I said before. And with the next card, I have the card, the answers you need are coming. It says full moon in Gemini. Like I said before, you guys could be a Gemini or have Gemini in your chart but you guys are able to pay attention to every little detail you guys are a very detailed oriented person and you guys are like that person's energy is off i didn't like how they were talking to you like what's going on with them like what's happening so i'm getting that you guys point out a lot of people's behavior that's inappropriate and you're like that's not right like what's happening and certain people don't really catch on to it because they're not as self-aware or they're not in this energy of where they want to do the healing work and you guys trigger a lot of people because you guys are doing your healing work and you guys are pointing out certain things within yourself and then you guys also can see that within others because you guys have already healed it within yourself so i'm getting that you guys are able to see a lot of people's bs and you guys are able to see a lot of people's potential as well so even if other people don't have the skills like on paper you guys are able to be like okay i know you have it within you i'm gonna mentor you in order to pull that out of you so i'm getting that you guys help a lot of people develop their voice or find who they are just with you guys mentoring them or being around them or just being in that energy of just talking to them communicating with them okay and with the dream decoder deck i have the card religious or spiritual figures i'm getting that you guys are a very spiritual person you guys are the type of person to trust whoever you guys believe in i'm getting that you guys are very motherly very graceful how you guys walk is like very classy and you guys have this very classy and bold energy to you at the same time or angelic energy to you and it keeps you guys going in your present moment and it also inspires other people and that's what makes you guys very rare is that you guys have this energy of where you're motivating and inspiring other people just by being yourself or just by living in your truth that's what i'm getting okay you guys really live in your truth and you guys stand in this energy of alignment this energy of stability like you guys are very stable within yourself and that is projected onto your life in a lot of different situations and with the card apocalypse you guys are able to change within seconds that's what i'm getting you guys are able to change your mindset like you guys have this growth mindset so you guys don't feel like things are happening to you you guys feel like things are happening for you and you guys do not allow other people to break you i'm getting that you guys do a lot of rejection therapy and because you guys are not afraid of rejection you guys are able to step out of your comfort zone a lot of the time okay and that's what makes you guys rare from others and 
With the Moonlight Oracle cards, I have the card Ishtar. It says, Goddess of Love passion war and justice like i said before you guys could have this energy of where you're balanced within the darkness and the light within you and you guys are able to use your discernment when to pull out certain energy within you okay i'm also getting that you guys know how to turn a lot of difficult situations into situations that work best for you and for the people that you guys are around you guys are able to Open your eyes to a lot of certain situations that other people have rose-colored glasses towards. You guys are able to stand in your power and you guys are not afraid of your power, okay? You guys are not afraid to step more into your power even if other people are intimidated. I feel like a lot of people are intimidated by your energy or your aura. But it's most likely because you guys point out certain things that they need to heal, okay? And with the next card, I have the card Pile. It says, Goddess of Volcano, Creativity, Change, and Protection. You guys are very protective of the people that you guys love. And that's very rare to just the people in our generation. Like, a lot of people don't know what loyalty is. And you guys are very loyal people. I'm also getting that you guys are very creative as well. Like, you guys turn that pain into something creative you guys could be artists of some kind and you guys heal yourself and heal others with your art i'm also getting again you guys are not afraid of change you guys are not afraid to be that first person to make the changes in your life so you guys are very on point of who you guys are and you guys are very authentic you guys could have fire sign energy in your chart so you guys could be a leo aries or sagittarius and with the last cards from the pieces of light oracle cards i have the card angelic assistance is as divine guidance and loving support you guys could be a walking earth angel and that's what other people like view you as because you guys are telling other people how to live in their truth or you guys are living in your truth and being that example okay you guys are also in this energy of where you're very balanced you guys know your power you guys know what you guys are capable of or know that you guys are worthy of better things in your life and you guys go out and go get them okay and with the next card i have the card clairvoyance it says inspiration interpretation and trust so you guys have two things that talk about trust so you guys really trust your intuition you guys are in this energy of where you guys may see certain signs and if it's like the slightest signs you guys are like you know what i got the sign i'm gonna move forward in the way of where it's for my highest good okay so you guys trust your intuition you guys are very spiritual people like you guys are that person of where you guys embody your spirituality and it's not in an ego way because i'm getting that you guys still live in the physical world and do physical things like you guys could do a lot of quote unquote worldly things but you guys still do it in a very spiritual way it's in a way of where you guys embrace your spirituality and your sexuality as well and you guys are also very inspiring it's like the way that you guys interpret things in life really inspires other people and you guys have a message in life or you guys were meant to say what's on your mind in order to help other people heal. And with the last card, I have the card Twin Flames. It says Soul Partner and Eternal Connections. So you guys are this person of where a lot of people feel like you're their soulmate because you guys are in this angelic energy and you guys move forward in a very spiritual way. So a lot of people fall in love with your soul or a lot of people have this energy of where they fall in love with you at first sight. And it's more so like they're falling in love with your aura. They're falling in love with your energy. So you're very physically beautiful but you're also very spiritually beautiful that's what i'm getting and that's what makes you guys rare so that was you guys' reading if this reading resonated with you guys make sure you comment down below if you guys are going to choose another pile i will see you soon but if you guys are going to click off this reading make sure you guys like share and subscribe to my channel see you guys next time and bye y'all Hey, pile number two, welcome to your reading. So before I get into your cards or anything, I'm gonna tell you why you chose this Halle crystal. With this crystal, I'm getting that you guys could be a water sign, so Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio, or have those placements in your chart. But what makes you guys rare from others is that you guys have a certain aesthetic to you, okay? On a physical level, you guys dress the way that you guys wanna dress, or you guys have like a certain like aesthetic, like I said before, or you guys match aesthetics, and you guys have made your own aesthetic, 
music that other people are like oh yeah that's pile number two like they always have this on or they always have like a certain piece of jewelry on or they always have like a certain way that they do their hair that's pile number two so you guys have like signature looks and that's what makes you guys rare from others i'm also getting that you guys are very much the main character in your life you guys could be a libra gemini or aquarius so you guys could have air placements in your chart or be an air sign or i'm getting that you guys know how to move a crowd like you guys are in this energy of where you guys don't have to do too much to get attention or be noticed you guys are very much noticed by your energy your aura and how you guys dress how you guys talk how you guys walk how you guys present yourself it's your confidence in yourself that really moves other people in their lives to be like you you guys have like a lot of people that want to be you or be like you or that are inspired by you that are motivated by you and you guys have this energy of where you're very happy in your life okay you're very happy with who you guys are who you guys want to be who you guys are becoming i'm also getting that you guys are the type of people to be fully in your present moment what i mean by that is like you guys may be the type of people of where you put your phone down when you're talking and having a conversation with other people or you guys actually actively listen to people and that's what makes you guys rare from others is that when you're having a conversation you're actually listening to them and listening to what they have to say and not just listening to answer back it's like when you guys communicate with people you're fully there like people feel that you're there with them on a physical level okay and you guys have this energy of where the way that you guys move it's like the way that you guys move is like very graceful and it's like yes i'm here and i was sent from the divine to be here so you're very much in alignment with like who you guys are who you guys were meant to be and the places that you guys were meant to be in your life okay so when you guys have a certain urge to go certain places it's because you guys were meant to be there okay even if you guys go like maybe two days later maybe you guys were thinking about going to a certain place and spirit was like it's not that time like just just wait a couple more days and you guys wait a couple more days and then you guys end up meeting maybe the love of your life or maybe i'm just thinking about like something in the future for somebody like for somebody I'm getting that you guys have been wanting to go to a certain place it could be like the botanical garden or something like that or something with like plants and animals like maybe it's like the zoo or something like I don't know like you guys could be wanting to go somewhere that really embodies like your aura okay like really enhances your aura and you guys could be meeting somebody in the future or soon spirit is saying like be mindful of that like and be in this energy of where you're happy about your life and also that good things are happening to you right now things are getting into alignment right now or i'm getting that that is like your whole personality like you guys have this energy of where you're like something good is about to happen to me or something good is happening into my life right now it doesn't matter what is falling apart in my life right now it's for a reason like, like you guys feel like everything in your life has a reason or a season okay so you guys are allowing things to die in your life and you guys are allowing things to thrive in your life and i'm also getting that you guys are the type of people to thrive and allow other people to thrive in their lives as well like you guys do not tear other people down so with that being said let's get into your overall energy you guys could have a very deep speaking voice or you guys could have like a very nice voice and other people love that and that's what makes you guys very rare from others and with your overall energy from the power of love oracle deck i have the card commitment when you guys say you're going to do something, you do it and you guys do it efficiently, okay? You guys are very committed to your goals, your aspirations in life, the people in your life. You guys are really reliable. And that's what makes you guys rare from others is that other people can actually count on you because you guys do what you guys say you're going to do, okay? You guys are not the type of people to be like, oh, I'll do it tomorrow. Like, oh, I don't want to do it. Like, no, you guys are the type of people to be like, 
I said I was going to do this today, so I'm going to do this today. And if I have to communicate, like I need more time, I'll do that. But I'm going to do what I can today, okay? So you guys are the type of people where you're living for your present moment or you're living in your present moment. And you're not just living in the future. Like you're not just being like, oh, like I'll do it tomorrow. Like trying to procrastinate like you guys are not the type of person to procrastinate and that's what makes you guys rare from others i'm also getting that if you guys have procrastinated in the past you guys have let that go in order to be fully committed to what you guys set for yourself and i'm also getting that you guys have really good intentions towards other people like other people know that you guys have good intentions towards them and it's because you guys move forward in that way and it's the actions that you guys take towards them okay and with your tarot cards i have the card the moon card you guys keep a lot of people's secrets and like i said before you guys could be a water sign heavy cancer energy coming through but i'm getting that you guys are the type of people to go inwards and see what you guys need to heal so that you guys do not project your pain onto other people i'm also getting that you guys could be an introvert so even though you guys are an introvert you guys still have like extroverted qualities about you like other people like to talk to you or it's like when you get around people that you guys actually like or actually know you guys are very lively or outgoing or it's something about this energy of like boldness okay that you guys have and that you guys possess and you guys push that out into the world but you guys also have this energy of like you're very calm and peaceful and you guys could be the peacemakers in your family or in your friend group i'm also getting just in general like you guys could be activists and that's what makes you guys very rare and with the next card i have the card the emperor card you guys are not afraid to take action it doesn't matter if you guys are an introvert or not you guys are going to be taking that action you guys are also very dominant so even if you guys feel like you guys are very introverted or you guys don't really like people that's what i'm hearing for somebody or it's like you guys don't really like people who are ignorant because I don't want to say unintelligent. It's just ignorant. Like, you guys don't like ignorance, okay? And I'm getting that you guys have this energy of authority. Like, you guys set out the laws in a lot of situations. Or you guys could be entrepreneurs. I'm also getting that you guys could be somebody with authority. Even if you guys do not have authority, especially in your workplace, other people still look to you for advice. Or other people still look to you as somebody who has authority. And you're like... I'm not even your manager like why are you asking me this like you should be asking the manager but I'm getting that you guys have this likeness to you that other people feel comfortable to ask you certain things that are happening in their life and you're like okay I'll help you because you know you need my help okay like I, I know things will be falling apart if I didn't help you so I'm gonna help you and I'm getting that you guys are very helpful people I'm also getting that you guys just know how to take care of other people and make other people feel loved and needed in their life okay and I'm also getting that you guys are very needed in your life as well and with the next card I have the card the justice card you guys get justice very fast in your life again you guys could be a Libra or have Libra in your chart and you guys are the type of people where if somebody does you wrong you better believe they're gonna get their karma very fast and other people have seen it in their lives like people are like don't mess with pile number two you're gonna get that karma don't mess with them okay and i'm also getting that you guys are very just people like i said before you guys could be mediators in your family like you guys mediate a lot of things you guys could be in the legal system or the justice system i'm also getting that you guys are very grounded like you guys are very grounded people and because you guys are very grounded and you guys have your faculties together you guys are able to call people out on their bs and really see things for what they truly are and call everybody out that's what i'm getting like you guys are meant to be here to call certain people out on their bs and you guys were meant to be here to really bring justice into a lot of certain situations that you guys are in in your life okay so you guys may be the type of person of where you feel like you're always around conflict and you're like i don't know why 
conflict just seems to follow me and it's because you guys have this energy of where you guys bring justice to a lot of certain situations that are not right okay and with the next card i have the king of pentacles you guys can have earth placements in your chart so capricorn taurus or virgo but i'm getting that you guys know how to invest your time energy and money into the right people places and things okay you guys are not the type of people to waste your money on certain things that are not needed okay so i'm getting that you guys are definitely the opposite of hoarders <laughs> Um, you guys are the type of people of where you guys may be even a little bit frugal with your money because you guys want to invest your money into certain things like it's like you guys know how to put in the right amount of money into your business or into other people like um into yourself even i'm getting that you guys invest in yourself and that's what makes you guys very rare from others is that you guys take a gamble on certain things that you guys want in your life and you're like you know what i know that i can do it i know what i'm also capable of so i'm just gonna take a risk so you guys are the type of person of where you guys may take a lot of risk in life and other people actually truly love that about you because you guys just seem like a very adventurous person but it's very calculated okay it's very strategic it's in a passionate energy but it's not like a fire sign energy it's very much in a earth sign energy like calculated strategic um even like a virgo you guys could be a virgo okay and with the next card i have the card the six of swords you guys know how to walk away from certain situations that are not serving you you guys know how to let go you guys are also the type of people where you guys have this balance and i'm getting that you guys are able to learn from a lot of your situations or a lot of your relationships especially in your life and you're like okay i know that this person was meant to be in my life at that time but maybe we're not meant to be together for the rest of our lives like that's okay i'm gonna move forward and move forward in a way of where i'm gonna level up and take action towards these things that i've always wanted to do because now i have the courage to do so so you guys have been clearing up a lot of situations from your past in order to even get into this mindset that you guys are in right now and that's what makes you guys very rare is that you guys learn quickly from your relationships or from these situations that have happened to you in the past and you're able to move forward in a very healed way okay and with the next card, I have the Six of Pentacles. You guys have very balanced relationships in your life because you guys are not afraid to tell people no. You guys are not afraid to set up healthy boundaries. And I'm also getting like the energy of Blossom from the Powerpuff Girls. Like you guys have this energy of like authority and you guys know when to be soft and you guys know when to uh, take action towards certain things. Like you guys are very powerful within yourself and you guys also give other people their props on where they're very powerful in. I'm getting that you guys learn from a lot of the relationships that you're in and you guys are the type of people to uplift other people like you guys are very uplifting to the people that you guys are around and you guys bring a lot of harmony into your relationships okay a lot of harmony and justice into a lot of your relationships and for somebody i'm getting that you guys may have been put in a lot of third-party situations and it's more so to call certain people out like certain player energies out and be like okay you lost the good one like i'm gonna walk away because i know my worth and i'm gonna level up in a way of where you could never talk to me ever again like that's the energy that i'm getting so you guys have a lot of people that really crave you and especially the people from your past it doesn't even matter if it was like a romantic relationship or a platonic relationship it's more so like people crave your energy because of how balanced you guys were and how you guys brought a lot of harmony into their lives. I'm getting like for somebody you guys may have like prayed for a lot of your significant others that were in the past or your friends and now that they don't have your prayers anymore or now that you guys have like kind of stop praying for them because you're like okay they need to do their own praying they need to do that healing work of their own and you guys have been focusing more on yourself 
these people are like oh my gosh i miss pile number two like i really want them back into my life okay and i'm getting that they really want you back into their lives more so because of what you guys were doing for them like you guys are a very nurturing person very grounded very caring and that was very rare in the relationships that they had in the past and also the relationships that they come upon because they're still going through certain karmic cycles for some of their relationships that was a message for somebody okay but with the moonology cards i have the card your hard work is paying off it says new moon and capricorn definitely some heavy capricorn energy in this reading but i'm getting that everything that you guys are doing right now is definitely paying off and other people can tell that it's just like you keep going in your situation it, it doesn't matter what's happening around you you guys keep going it doesn't matter how you guys may feel about certain things that happen to you even today you guys still keep going and that's what makes you guys very rare from others is that you guys do not give up on yourself okay and you guys keep your head up high that's what i'm getting and with the next card i have the card a time for healing it says basalmic moon so with this card i'm getting that you guys make time for yourself and make time for yourself to rest and rejuvenate yourself and heal from a lot of these situations that happened to you in your past and because you guys have made time for your healing you guys have attracted a lot of good people in your life to take care of you or i'm getting that you guys have a balanced energy of where you guys take care of the people around you and they also take care of you so it's a very healed and very connected energy like the connections that you guys have now are very in alignment with who you guys are becoming as well as who you guys are today okay like you guys have manifested a lot of these relationships that are either coming into your life or that are already in your life, okay? And with the Dream Decoder deck, I have the card wedding or marriage a lot of people look at you as marriage material or you guys have this aura of where you know that you guys deserve more so you guys are not settling for less and that's what makes you guys rare from others because a lot of people in their lives especially in their romantic relationships they settle okay they settle for friends they settle for where they live they settle for just the things around them and you guys have a certain amount of standards for yourself and you guys are not afraid to get certain things yourself and also you're like in your relationships you're like okay i don't even treat myself like that so you're definitely not going to treat me like that so that's what makes other people want to marry you or you guys could be getting married okay that's for somebody you guys have this energy of where you do everything that other people consider as marriage material like you guys are marriage material or you guys have like i want to say quote unquote married yourself not in a way that's like kind of crazy but in a way of where you're very committed to your goals you're very committed like dedicated you guys know what you guys stand for and a lot of people love that energy okay and that's what makes you guys rare is that other people may not even know what they stand for but when they're around you they're like oh my god this person is very passionate about the things they talk about or the things that they do and you guys also have hobbies as well so you're very whole within yourself and it's like you guys have your own life you guys are the type of people where you guys may have a partner and people may not even know about it and it's because you guys are so whole within yourself that you guys don't need to just show your partner off that's what i'm getting like it's like you guys may show your partner off or you guys are the type of people where you guys have a private relationship like nobody knows what's going down in your relationships but other people know that you guys are in a relationship with certain people okay and with the next card i have the card accidents so i'm getting that you guys avoid a lot of danger in your life and that's what makes you guys very rare so you guys won't even go to certain places because you guys are like mm, i have a bad feeling about this maybe not tonight maybe i'll go another day like i was saying before you guys go to certain places in alignment with your soul and i'm getting that you guys have certain feelings about certain situations and you're like uh like i think i should leave right now like i don't know what's happening like i don't know what's in the air but i'm gonna leave right now and then you know 10 minutes later 20 minutes later after you guys have left the situation or left the place 
certain bad things happen okay that's what i'm getting like you guys are the type of people where a lot of people watch your moves or watch how you guys maneuver around certain situations because they're like pile number two they know something that i don't or they have like a deep intuition about certain things and i'm just gonna trust what they say because in a lot of situations that they were true about what they were talking about or their feelings okay like i'm getting that you guys feel things on a deep level and you guys avoid a lot of darkness in your life or a lot of difficult situations okay and i'm also getting that you guys are able to take accountability for your actions and admit when you guys have made a mistake okay and that's also a part of being a great leader is knowing when you guys have made a mistake or knowing when you guys have led people to a wrong place in their life okay also knowing when you guys have led yourself to certain places that were not for you in your life and i feel like that's why you guys have this deep intuition about certain situations because you guys have already lived it in a different timeline or cycle in your life okay and with the moonlight oracle cards i have the card last quarter it says release you guys are able to release any people places and environments that are not for your highest good you guys do not have any problem with cutting people off you guys are like mm, you're not for me bye it's not even in a rude way it's more so like it's just over it's done we don't need to talk anymore i learned what i needed to learn from you and it's time to go it's time to go okay and with the next card, I have the card Garnet. It says passion, sensuality, and grounding. So I'm getting that you guys are very passionate people. You guys move forward in a very passionate way. How you guys walk is very passionate. How you guys talk. It's like how you guys move your body. And you guys are also very grounded. So you guys attract a lot of rich people in your life. You guys could be rich or you guys are on that level of manifesting riches in your life. And it's how you guys move forward in your certain situation, okay? Um... I'm getting that you guys use your sexuality in a healed way or you're not afraid of your sexuality. Like you guys are not sexually blocked from certain situations that happened to you in your past. You guys have done your healing work. And with the Priestess of Light Oracle cards, as well as the last cards, I have the card Adjustment. It says, looking back and moving forward, you guys do not allow your past to hold you back. You guys are not the type of person to be like, oh, like I can't do it. Like you guys do not say that at all. You guys are going to keep trying, maybe in like a different strategy, but you guys are going to continue to keep trying in order to move forward in your present moment. I'm getting that you guys learn from your past instead of allowing your past to control you or be in this energy of where you're living the past over and over again in your mind or even in a different cycle in your life, okay? And with the next card, I have the card achievement it says ever plus intention this is like a double confirmation that everything that you guys have been working towards is coming true for you because you guys have been putting in that work and you guys truly believe that things are happening for you for the best reason and you're very committed like you guys put in that effort and you guys have great intentions in your life and other people can tell that you guys have good intentions it's like you guys are the perfect person like you guys are the perfect match for a lot of people like you guys are a lot of people's dream person okay and with the next card i have the card hidden knowledge it says akashic records and silent understanding so you guys are able to understand a lot of things that other people may not know about like you guys are able to go inwards and be like oh like i don't know i just have this feeling i don't know what it is but i'm not gonna go there today okay like you guys are very much in alignment with who you guys are and the messages from the divine like it's like you guys get certain messages from the divine and the divine is like guiding you so you guys are able to listen to that message and really trust that message and also tell other people about that message okay so it's kind of like pile number one but you guys have like a more motivated and a more action oriented uh type of energy okay so with that being said that was you guys this reading if this reading resonated with you guys make sure you comment down below also if you guys are going to choose another pile i will see you soon but if you guys are going to click out this reading make sure you guys like share and subscribe to my channel see you guys next time and bye y'all
Hey, pile number three, welcome to your reading. So before I get into your cards or anything, I'm gonna tell you why you chose this Smoky Quartz Crystal. With this crystal, I'm getting that you guys could be a fire sign, so Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, or you guys could be an earth sign, so Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo, or have those placements in your chart. I'm getting that you guys are very strong-minded, like you guys are able to speak your mind, say what's on your mind. You guys are able to trust your intuition as well. You guys could be a walking sage, so you guys are able to go into certain spaces and then shift the energy in a positive way. You guys could be very optimistic. So I'm getting that you guys could be a Sagittarius or have Sagittarius in your chart, but you guys move forward in optimism and you guys change a lot of this energy around you, like a lot of the negative energy around you in order to provide a different atmosphere. So you guys are the type of people, maybe even at work, of where a lot of people love to be at work when you're at work, okay? Like there are certain people that look forward to going to work just because you're at work. Even if they do not like their job per se, they love being around you because it's like your aura, your confidence, how you guys handle certain situations. It seems like you guys handle your emotions very well. And I feel like a lot of people look up to you even if they don't tell you they look up to you but it's like a lot of people look forward to seeing you every single day or seeing you just in the times that they see you okay i feel like a lot of people feel like they're in alignment when they see you or they just feel very happy very happy about their lives or very happy about the situations that they're in i feel like especially with certain people that have been in bad relationships or it's like especially in like the workplace that's what i'm getting like somebody in the workplace like looks forward to seeing you because they have a lot of things going on at home and you guys really uplift them even if it's like small talk that you guys just say hello to these people like they feel acknowledged by you and i'm getting that a lot of people love to be acknowledged by you because they feel very important when you guys are around and that's what makes you guys very rare is that you guys make a lot of people feel important or you guys make a lot of people feel needed or loved or cared for or nurtured you guys could be a nurse or be like a practitioner of some kind or you guys just make a lot of people's day so with that being said let's get into your overall energy and i use the power of love oracle deck and i have the card freedom so like I said before, you guys could be a Sagittarius or have Sagittarius in your chart, but I'm getting that you guys have this energy of optimism and freedom and especially mental freedom. You guys know what you guys are capable of and you guys also know what you guys are getting into. So if certain situations happen in your life, you're like, okay, I already knew this was coming, so I already have a backup plan. Like you guys are the type of people where you guys may be very organized or you guys have like certain backup plans that may help a lot of people out. You guys may be the planner in your family and it really helps other people who just go with the flow. And I feel like you guys are able to go with the flow in a lot of certain situations, but I feel like you guys are able to plan certain things out as well. So you guys have a very nice balance to you, okay? I'm getting like fire sign and earth sign energy as well as like some air sign placement so you guys could be a libra gemini or aquarius or have those placements in your chart but i'm getting that you guys are able to move forward in this energy of clarity this energy of like optimism and fire and passion and you guys just feel like you're able to do anything that you guys put your mind to and that's what makes you guys very rare from others is like you're able to release a lot of limited beliefs that other people have projected onto you or even the limited beliefs that you guys have grown up like knowing you guys are able to break those and move forward in a very bold and I want to say mysterious way because you guys do things in a very like mysterious way like how many people know your plans but people know that you guys are working on something okay it's like you guys are always doing something you guys are always two steps ahead and that's what makes you guys very rare from others okay and with the next cards from the tarot deck I have the card the four of cups in reverse you guys are able to open your eyes to certain opportunities that other people don't feel like may be the best option for you but you guys see the opportunity that is for you like you guys may go towards things that other people are like this person is crazy like i don't know why they're going towards this but like 
I don't see the value in it. But I feel like you guys see the value in certain opportunities. And because you guys take that leap of faith in yourself, things end up working out for you in the most highest way possible. And you guys have like a lot of opportunities or you guys create a lot of opportunities in your life. And that's what makes you guys very rare is that you guys are not waiting for other people to give you opportunities or you guys are not waiting for yourself to feel better in certain situations. You're like, okay, this is what I have now. These are the tools that I have now and I'm going to make the best out of the situation that I'm in right now. So you guys have like a different mindset when it comes to moving forward in your life. And that's what makes you guys very rare. And with the next card, I have the card the queen of wands so you guys are the type of people where you're very confident within yourself you guys know how to talk to people it's like your voice and how you guys speak to people is very confidently you guys look people in the eye and you guys are not afraid to really communicate your needs or wants or how you guys want things to go getting like a boss energy like you guys know what you guys want out of life and i'm also getting that you guys are able to communicate how you guys feel about certain situations okay even if certain things hurt your feelings you guys are able to communicate it in a very mature way and you guys take the time to listen to other people and also take the time to communicate exactly how you guys are feeling even if you guys don't feel like other people are listening you guys are still going to communicate your truth because you guys feel like you guys deserve to be heard even if it's by yourself okay that's what I'm getting. And and with the next card, I have the card, the King of Cups. So with the King of Cups, you guys are very emotionally grounded. Like I said before, you guys are able to communicate your emotions and really push people to communicate their emotions. And it may trigger them, but in the end, it really helps them like find themselves okay so you guys help a lot of people find themselves by you guys communicating your emotions i'm also getting that you guys are really good at writing poetry or writing in general like your writing is on point i'm getting like your handwriting is on point as well and you guys are also emotionally intelligent so you guys are able to tell how other people are feeling like you guys could be an empath like i said before or you guys have like this empathic energy of where you guys may need to cleanse your energy a lot more or you guys are very sensitive and especially in this generation a lot of people are emotionally numb so you guys being sensitive in this world like you guys are able to use your sensitivity in the best way possible to help you get ahead in life like you guys are able to connect with people you guys are very great networkers as well and that's what makes you guys very rare from others is that you guys truly know how to communicate with people truly know how to make good connections in your life and you guys could be like a social butterfly and that's what makes you guys very rare and with the next card the queen of cups so very balanced in your emotions you guys know how to nurture other people you guys are giving your cup to certain people that are worthy of your time and energy you guys are not the type of people to just give your love to anybody you guys are very selective and that's what makes you guys very rare is that you guys are not just around certain people just to get up in life or um, come up in life that's what I'm getting like you guys may network with a lot of people but it's people for your highest good okay and I feel like it's a very balanced relationship as well so you guys network with people that you guys can do something for in return instead of networking with people that you would only help you like you want to help them in return that's what i'm getting like you guys are very emotionally balanced in that way and i'm also getting that you guys know how to like give your love in the most purest way possible okay and i feel like you also have a lot of options in love as well and a lot of people may not see the value in certain people but you're like nope that's my person like i want that person and you guys may have certain situations where people may not want your significant other when your significant other is single but right when you get with your significant other or 
a romantic partner now everybody wants them because you guys have seen the value in them okay and because you guys have seen the value in them people are like oh if pile number three has seen the value in them okay they must be something they must have something that i don't know about and i want them now so you guys bring a lot of people to like this jealousy energy especially in your relationships because it's like you guys see the value in a lot of people or it's like who you like is like very important to a lot of people like especially in your romantic life people want to know who you guys are dating or people want to know who you guys are talking to because if you're talking to them they have to be to your certain standards or they have to be special of some kind and that's why a lot of people are like oh my gosh i need to be with your partner especially if you guys have like a husband or something like it's how your partner treats you and people love that like people love that you guys draw out a lover person in your person or in your romantic partners okay you guys make your romantic partners weak for you and that's why you guys are very rare from others okay i'm getting that you guys turn a lot of players into lover people or you guys see past a player's facade and you guys turn them into the soft person again that's what i'm getting okay and with the next card, I have the Two of Cups. So like I said before, you guys turn a lot of people into this lover person or people who know how to express their love. Like you guys show people how to express their love. And it's because you guys are very balanced within your emotional self as well as you're very balanced within your self-love. Like you guys have this energy of self-love that is very grounded within you so you guys will not tolerate anything less than what you guys deserve and i feel like a lot of people they approach you but they're like okay i have to approach them in a certain way because i know that they're very particular in how they like their partners okay so you guys may have certain people that like try to change to be you in order to be with you okay <laughs> And I'm also getting that you guys are very balanced within your masculine and feminine energy. And that's what makes you guys very rare is like you guys know when to take action and you guys know when to rest and rejuvenate or you guys know when to manifest or turn darkness into light. And you guys have like a very beautiful aura, very beautiful energy because of that. Okay. I feel like you're very confident within your relationships as well and you guys bring this energy of harmony into your relationships and with the four of swords like i said before you guys are able to rest and rejuvenate i feel like you guys take care of yourself a lot and because you guys speak your truth or because you guys are able to express your emotions i feel like you guys rest and rejuvenate yourself more so you guys listen to your body okay what makes you guys rare from other people is like you guys don't treat your body like a robot or you guys take care of yourself like you guys are very into wellness or you guys take care of your body like you guys have a very nice body and um you guys see the value in your body and i feel like you guys age gracefully like i feel like when you guys were younger you guys may have looked older and now that you guys are getting older you guys appear very young because of how you guys take care of your body how you guys rest and rejuvenate yourself and the shadow work that you guys are doing the emotional healing work that you guys are doing and how you guys are not stressing yourself out because of certain people in your life i'm getting that you guys cut certain people out of your life in order to rest and rejuvenate yourself as well as like get some peace of mind okay and with the moonology cards i have the card show the world the real you it says full moon in aquarius you guys could be in aquarius or have aquarius in your chart but i'm getting that you guys are very whimsical you guys have a very good personality and you guys are very funny that's what i'm getting like you guys have a very good sense of humor and you guys are sensitive but you guys are not overly sensitive or 
you guys know when certain people are projecting so you guys don't take that too serious like you guys know when to take things serious and you guys know when to not take certain things serious okay so a lot of people like that you guys are very balanced in that energy and that you guys are very authentic okay you guys are going to say what's in your mind and not care about what other people think and i'm also getting that you guys are going to stand in your power because of that okay and with the next card i have the card look at the bigger picture it says full moon in sagittarius like i said before you guys could have a lot of sagittarius in your chart but i'm getting that you guys look at the bigger picture in a lot of situations that you're in you guys move forward you guys see what you guys need to release in order to move forward from these blockages from these limitations that you guys may have been putting on yourself for a while i'm getting that you guys may move a lot or you guys may like traveling because it gets you into a different mindset it gets you to open your perspective in certain situations or you're very open-minded that's what i'm getting and with the dream decoder deck i have the card family so you guys could be very close to your family or you guys have like a very good family dynamic i'm also getting that animals love you children love you i'm getting that a lot of people want to be with you and it's because of how you guys move forward how nurturing you guys are how emotionally caring you guys are like you guys care about other people's emotions and that's to the point of where you guys are hiding your own emotions like you guys are going to express your emotions but still care about other people like you guys are very empathic that's what i'm getting and with the next card i have the card being chased so i'm getting that you guys are able to feel your emotional pain like you guys are able to feel that emotional pain but not allow that to control you so you guys turn that pain into power and turn it into something that allows you to be free allows you to uh, express yourself more so i'm getting that you guys could write a book or you guys could have wrote a book or you guys are writing a book that is helping you express your emotions or, or i'm getting that you guys have turned a certain character in your book into something that you guys have personally been through but like adding stuff to it that's what i'm getting i'm also getting that you guys have a lot of secret admirers and that's what makes you guys rare from others is that a lot of people want to either be your friend if they can't be with you romantically or be around you like a lot of people like to be around you you guys, you guys have like a certain aura to you that like adds a lot of happiness into a lot of people's lives and you guys may need like a break from other people and you're like whoa like i need a break like especially as an empath you guys may need like a super break from other people in order to move forward but i feel like a lot of people just love your aura love how you guys talk love what you guys stand for and i love that you guys express yourself and that you guys do things for your authentic self and you guys are not afraid to live in your soul's purpose that's what i'm getting and with the moonology cards i have the card black tourmaline it says protection recharging and grounding so i'm getting that you guys are not afraid to recharge yourself like you guys are not afraid to be like hey i need a time out like i need to call off to work for a mental health day or something like i need to recharge myself like i'm not feeling it or you guys make time for yourself to recharge yourself and that's what other people find rare and i'm also getting that you guys are very protected a lot of people see it a lot of people see that if they've done you wrong in the past they're still getting their karma or they feel like they shouldn't have done you wrong or their karma is that they're still in certain situations that you guys have left them in okay so they're still dealing with certain people that they have been dealing with in the past because they can't get over that karmic cycle and you guys have so you guys are very rare because you guys have overcome a lot of karmic cycles in your life and it's based on your protection okay it's based on your intuition and you guys have freeze yourself from a lot of these difficult situations okay and with the next card add the card citrine it says goal setting abundance and positive energy so like i said before you guys have this positive energy about you you guys are very uplifting you guys bring a lot of this wholesomeness in your workplace or in your family life or just around you anywhere that you guys are around you guys make it a good time and i'm also getting that you guys know when to stick to a certain goal okay you guys are very action oriented you guys could be planners like i said before before or or did i say that in this pile i don't remember but you guys could be planners i'm also getting that you guys are very organized you guys know when to take action you guys know when to rest and rejuvenate yourself i'm getting that you guys know how to stay in alignment as well 
and you guys are very abundant within yourself very whole within yourself okay and that's what makes you guys rare and with the last cards from the priestess of light oracle deck i have the card wings of light it says becoming something new you guys are not afraid to drop everything and just say i'm done with it it's not for me anymore i'm becoming something new i'm doing something new i'm traveling i need something new in my life okay so you guys are the type of people where you guys are very optimistic about your love life that's what i'm hearing i'm also getting that you guys are very optimistic about your life in general you guys know that things are going to work out for you regardless and you guys just trust your intuition and because you guys trust your intuition you guys make a lot of bold choices in your life okay and with the next card i have the card Building your world. It says creation, expansion, and networking. So like I said before, you guys are very great at networking. You guys are the type of people to express your emotions and create these deep connections in your life. You guys could have like a very small friend group, but it's a friend group that is very deep okay like a friendship that is very deep that's what i'm getting and you guys are also very creative people you guys use that pain that you guys have been through in order to create something beautiful you guys are very open-minded like you guys have this mind of where you're like okay i know what i'm gonna do i don't know how i'm gonna do it but i'll figure it out on the way and i feel like that's when your organization comes through of where you're trying to plan certain things or like your goal setting because it's like sometimes you guys may set a goal and then subconsciously go towards it it doesn't take too much brain power for you guys to accomplish certain things in your life and that's what makes you guys very rare and with the last card it says touching earth it says planting something new so you guys can be an earth sign or have earth placements in your chart so capricorn towards or virgo but i'm getting that you guys are able to plant new seeds in your life and also maintain them okay so you guys are not afraid to be like okay i need something new in my life like i said before like you guys are able to figure out what newness you guys need in your life and then go towards it and i feel like that goes along with your freedom like you guys know you guys have the freedom to create and so you guys are master creators like i'm getting like the magician card of where you're able to manifest a lot of things in your life because of your mindset so with that being said that was you guys this reading if this reading resonated with you guys make sure you comment down below also make sure you guys like share and subscribe to my channel see you guys next time and bye y'all